In recent past China has been very aggressive in its posturing, and has shown intent in expanding its spheres of influence. There has been several border incursions and standoffs. In this video, we have listed five weapons that India is deploying to meet the Chinese challenge. The weapons are listed in increasing order of impact. Number 5 India is buying 145 M777 guns at a cost of about $750 million from America's Bay Systems. The M777 Howitzer, a towed 155mm artillery piece, is a successor to the M198 Howitzer. It is manufactured by Bay Systems Global Combat Systems Division. Under Make in India initiative, the guns assembly, integration and testing will be shifted to India. This is first major buy for the Mountain Strike Corps. Note that, the Mountain Strike Corps has been specially raised to defend India's border with China. Artillery pieces don't get much limelight when compared to fighter jets or missiles, but are one of the most effective weapons in large-scale wars. They can obliterate armored regiments or infantry divisions, and can block the enemy from capturing territories. The M777 is designed with weight and size in mind. It is lighter than any other 155mm howitzer, having a weight of only 4,100 kg. The lighter weight and smaller size allows the M777 to be transported by the C-17 and C-130J aircrafts, CH-47 helicopter as well as trucks with these. Number 4 Chinese Navy has large number of surface ships as well as submarines. To counter this India has acquired 8. P.A.T.I. Poseidon, and has approved further purchase of four more which will be delivered next year. P.A.T.I. is a customized export variant of the P.A.T.A. for the Indian Navy. The P.8 Poseidon is developed for the United States Navy by Boeing. It conducts anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and shipping interdiction, along with an electronic signals intelligence, E.L.I.N.T. Roll. It is equipped with Raytheon APY-10 multi-mission surface search radar, and many other sensors to detect surface and underwater vessels. It carries torpedoes, depth charges, SLAMER missiles, harpoon anti-ship missiles, and other weapons for offensive intervention. Having a combat radius of 2,222 kilometers, it is ideal for patrolling the vast Indian Ocean region, and neutralizing enemy vessels. Number 3 BrahMos is the only supersonic cruise missile in the world. It is jointly developed by Russia and India. It has a range of 295 kilometers and travels at speeds of 2.8 to 3 Mach. It can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or land. Its speed provides little reaction time to enemy air defenses. Guided by navigation satellites, its own inertial navigation system or independent radars, it can precisely hit its target. India has deployed BrahMos in three platforms, which are as follows, 1. Kolkata class destroyers is equipped with BrahMos, and will be guided by very powerful, MF Stars radar. 2. BrahMos has been fitted, and successfully fired from India's frontline fighter, Su-30 MKI. 3. Army is inducting a regiment of land-launched BrahMos, in Arunachal Pradesh along the China border. Chinese do not have a defense against Brahmos. There is only one defense system in the world, known to have high chances of defending against Brahmos, that is, Barak 8, which is jointly developed by India and Israel. Number 2 INS I Hand is the lead ship of India's Ari Hand class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. 
the 6,000-ton vessel was built under the Advanced Technology Vessel Project. Is this India's first nuclear-powered submarine? Construction of three more submarines of this class is also underway. It has four vertical launch tubes, which can carry 12 smaller K-15 missiles, or four larger K-4 missiles. K-15 is a nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile with a range of 700 km. K-4 is an intermediate-range nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile having an effective range of 3,500 km. India currently possesses the ability to launch nuclear weapons from land and air. Our Rehand, armed with K-series missile will complete the nuclear triad with the capability to launch nukes from sea. This way India will have a very reliable second strike capability and deter China from any misadventure. Number 1 Agni-5 is an intercontinental ballistic missile developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, of India. Though the reported range of Agni-5 is 5,800 km, it is widely believed that Agni-5 has a range of 8,000 to 10,000 km. Even with stated range of 5,800 km, it can hit most parts of China. It carry a 1.5-ton warhead, has a speed of 24 Mach and accuracy of less than 10 meters. Though exact details are classified, it is widely speculated that Agni-5, feature multiple independently re-entry vehicle, MIRFs, with each missile being capable of carrying two to five separate nuclear warheads. It is India's most powerful deterrence against any Chinese aggression. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.